What is up YouTube? Today we are talking about if having Hall of Fame defensive badges on the twos is overrated, if it's underrated, uh, you know, if it's a must, if it's a choice. Uh, let's get right into it. So you see, I'm on my inside out playmaker. Porchop is on his glass lock. He has Hall of Fame defensive badges. I do not. I only have nine gold. We are playing a two-way sharp with lock takeover and a rebounding wing. The man's name is a two-way sharp. Shout out to that man. But both of these players have Hall of Fame defensive badges. The A2 way sharp, that man, he has Hall of Fame shooting, Hall of Fame defensive, and the rebounding wing he's playing with actually is just a taller version of him. He also has Hall of Fame shooting, Hall of Fame defensive. Right off the bat, you see, I'm getting a steal with uh, no pickpocket with gold defensive badges. And I am getting a dunk over two builds with Hall of Fame defensive badges. So a lot of people, you know, you see here as I get the oop behind that man. I can't believe he allowed that to happen. As always, you know we got to get one of those in every gameplay. Uh, real quick, if you guys are new, drop a like, subscribe. Uh, but let's get back into it. So is it a must to play with a build on the twos that has Hall of Fame defensive badges? I'm not going to lie. Usually when I play, at least one of my teammates or me always has Hall of Fame defensive badges. Poor Chop, when he's on this build, uh, he always, you know, he's got Hall of Fame defensive badges. The other lineup we run, my two-way tempo pusher on his stretch. He doesn't have Hall of Fame defensive badges on that build, but he does have it. I, I have it on my guard. I run my two-way tempo pusher when we play with that lineup. You see here, this uh, rebounding wing gets matched up on to me. I hit him with a fade right there. So I usually have... Hall of Fame defensive badges on the court at all times. When me and Beast run on his rebounding wing on my 2A Tempo Pusher, then both of us have it. But I'm here to tell you that it is not necessary. You see, these are these are pretty good players. They're pretty high reps. Poor job hook shots him right here. Uh and then actually, actually, after the gameplay of this, I'm going to be showing you some games of people that don't have Hall of Fame defensive badges. You see here, he's able to get the interception. Actually, having all the defensive badges, the defensive stats probably helped him grab that right there. He dots him wide open in the corner. He's able to hit a three. Good pass by him. Good steal. More onto it. But I'm just going to say, I think it's a little bit overrated to have Hall of Fame defensive badges playing the twos, even on the threes. Uh, defense, you know, it, it's kind of an IQ thing at the end of the day. Now, you don't want to be an offensive threat, you know, or playmaking shot creator with one defensive badge. You see here, I get the block right there. So far in the game, I have a steal. I have a block. I only have nine defensive badges, and my ratings are not the best. I get the oop right there over those guys. You can really, you can outshine somebody with Hall of Fame defensive badges if you have IQ and you don't have any. Now, that being said, if you're playing somebody that has tons of defensive IQ and they have Hall of Fame defensive badges, then that changes the game completely. Because then it's like, you know, it makes it that much harder. You guys saw that video against me of the pure lockdown. He was playing pretty decent defense. Once you put the two and two together, it makes it that much tougher. Poor Chop, you know, think he's going to get a corner three. Jumps right there. That man gets a weird, weird step back animation right there, and he misses it. Three to 12. Now, I'm not going to lie. I do love builds with Hall of Fame defensive badges. My two-way tempo push are probably my favorite build on the game. As I hit a three right there, he jumps for no reason. 15 to three. But at the end of the day, the, the final point on it pretty much is if you got defensive IQ, you don't need a build with uh, Hall of Fame defensive badges. It's just going to add to you. You see here, I got my shot rating take over. So, of course, I got to hit him with a fade right there. These guys that, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're pretty good players. Maybe they just had a bad game. But it's like the Hall of Fame defensive badges didn't save them. You see here, poor chop dots me. I take a shot right there. Did not want to take that. Was trying to just hop back. I forgot to dribble. Yada, yada, yada. But poor chop grabs a steal. I'm able to hit that three right there. 20 to 3, 8 for 10. They've made us miss three shots. Got a steal. The Hall of Fame defensive badges could not save them in this game. And uh, yeah, man. They could have. They, they would have done just as well with any other builds in the game. I'm going to finish it with a high flying oop. A two way sharp. Must be diff. Shout out to you guys. And they both had lock takeover, which I don't think lock takeover belongs on the twos. Uh, you can you usually can't even activate it unless you're just playing suffocating D, which, you know, ideally you think that's what they would have been doing because they had two defensive builds. If there was any builds to actually get the lock takeover, it's builds that have the Hall of Fame lock takeover, you know, the Hall of Fame lock badges. So you see here, we're going up against two different dudes, also good players. This man's got a crazy face scan. His face is yellow. Is What is that? Green? Uh, anyway, Playmaker Shock Raider, Elite One. He's playing with an interior force. Now with this, neither of them have the badges. Uh, and then on our side, we still got the same lineup support job has it. So the Playmaker Shock Raider, he has a maximum of maybe nine, ten, uh, ten gold badges. 
or badge points, sorry. So you get like three gold badges. And then the interior four, same thing. He could probably have like about 10, get them all the way up to gold. But they have no Hall of Fame defensive badges, and their defensive stats aren't going to be the best. But watch how good of defense they're actually able to play in this game and compare them to the last dudes we played. So you see here, I go up for the contact dunk right there. You know, not too much you could do. My bad, you know, my build is a dunking machine. I was able to dunk on the two lockdowns right there. So if I'm dunking on lockdowns, I'm definitely going to dunk on interior forces and playmaking shot creators. Two points starting right off the bat. Four job going for the body up right there i'm able to shoot that shot easy green five to zero starting off hot look kind of looking exactly like uh, the last dudes we just played i'm dotting porch up off the inbounds right here five to zero he really thinking he might be able to get a layup on the interior force the play mega shot creator playing up you know is able to dodge the screens right there pretty you know pretty good defense probably doesn't have pick dodger because he doesn't have the badge points locking me up got me out of energy like i said he's staying with me you didn't see the two-way sharp with all the, the hall of fame badges stay with me at any point the last game luckily i'm able to get a three off right there uh just because i know my jumper because i got the right badge set up i was out of energy that was not gonna lie i was a little bit lucky poor shot throws the lob right here i'm able to get that layup nine to zero uh, like if, if I didn't show these guys archetypes, if I didn't show the last guys archetypes, I'm sure you guys wouldn't have predicted that they both had Hall of Fame defensive badges in their name. In the comments, let me know if you would have. I'm just getting kind of crazy with the dribble moves right there. I get the interior force on me right there. They have big defensive IQ right there. I thought they were going to leave the little guy on porch. I was going to have him post up or I was just going to shoot the free board. But they switched back instantly. Like I said, I'm out of energy again. I went for the contact dunk. I'm able to slam it over the interior force. Now, I will say, you know, I can dunk on lockdowns. I can dunk on, you know, other builds. But I can't, you know, <laughs> I can't really just, you know, I, I, if I had to say I, one thing I would struggle with, it's when builds do have, like, Hall of Fame Rim Protector. They uh, do a little bit better against it. Uh, they can survive it. I can't get a contact dunk every time. I get the corner specialist to pop up right there on my fade, my dead eye. All these badges help me out. Hit that. Why did that? 13 to 0. This man is an elite, by the way. He gets up just enough of a contest right there. Great defense by him. How much was that? How much uh, step up? Let's wait for that to show it. 5%. So it's just enough to make me miss the shot. He's going crazy right there. Uh, you know, playing good defense, not playing good offense for an elite. You got to do a little bit better than the shot right there, man. 18 seconds left. I'm going to shoot the wide open fade. Get my takeover. 15 to 0. Like I said, you know, I mean, uh, this is this is a comp game. You know, elite, uh, you know. Terrier Force was a superstar too. They're good players. This man staying back. I fade right there. Green, 5%. He chased me as about as well as he could have right there. I was going to get that off, uh, you know. When, when, when somebody can fade on the twos court, it just makes that much more space. Porchop dots me on the back door right there with a lob. 19 to 0. Let's get him out of here. Let me know in the comments your guys' opinion if you think you need a build with defensive badges on the twos or if you can get away without it. Like I said, you know, we play. Usually I have one person on the court with good defensive badges. I fade right there. Get him out of here. 21 points on the elite. 10 for 11. 1 for 2. D minus. Glad I didn't grade him out of there. It's unfortunate when that happens. Uh, yeah, man. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.